bringing you another daily edition of the daily tour of homes and foreclosures for Southwest Florida, including the areas of Cape Coral, Fort Myers, Fort Myers Beach, Sanibel, and Naples. Always good to be with you today. Got an exciting tour of homes. I'm showing, going to show every home in uh, Fort Myers Beach up to 500,000. The last tour, I showed you every home on Sanibel under 500,000. I'll also be posting all of these listings in PDF listing format, so you can go take a look at all the pictures and the information underneath the home search bu button on the Facebook page. By the way, if you don't have a Facebook account, that's okay. You don't need one. You can still go to our Facebook page and you can search through and you can view everything on that Facebook page even though you don't have an account. When the little window pops up, pops up asking you if you want an account, you know, you just hit no or whatever and it goes right around to the Facebook page. So don't let, uh, don't let that distract you from going in and taking a look at all that great information. We have hundreds of videos to look at, area videos, community videos, home Home videos, information on hurricanes, taxes, insurance. There's just a ton of information on there. Go take a look at those six buttons, the commonly most asked about questions that we get and the answers to those. Simply a ton of information. Uh, well, I've got a few things we're going to talk about today. I don't know how I'm going to have to get this through over the next week, so you're going to hear a lot. I've got a lot of stuff to bring you, stuff from market stats and market information and a lot of information. It's mostly going to be centered around really giving you a good and honest understanding of what the market is doing down here. It's absolutely booming, folks. If you come down here thinking you're going to look at homes for four or five days and they're going to make offers on the best buys that we show you on the first two days, you're going to miss out. We've had four clients in the last month and a handful of clients in the last three or four months that have come to town. A couple of them actually have come to town three to four times because they weren't able to get a home the first time. Folks, you know, we, you know, the best some of the best ideas may be to buy a home by over the internet, get it tied up, and then come down here and look. The other thing that we see is people making offers at 20 to 30 percent off of list price. The homes down here are selling at more than 95 percent of asking price. So any home that you're looking at, you have to be prepared to pay full price for it. If you got a home that's three hundred thousand dollars that you're interested in, an offer for 285 to 287 is probably going to work. An offer for 270 probably won't even be replied to, uh, and I absolutely doubt you'll even get it. I'll show you some numbers of some of the ones that we've negotiated recently and you'll see what I mean. Uh, we've just seen a ton of buyers and I and I hate to see this continue to go on. We just happened to have it again last week with a client that came down for a second or a third time for two days specifically to find a home, used the two days to look at those homes, put in offers. It took two or three days to get people to even respond back and then they just responded back with a no. They took another offer without even giving us a chance to uh, to uh, you know to uh, uh, you know bring a, a counter off or anything like that. You know, folks, it's pretty much a seller's market. But let's take a look at the market stats right now. This is the 24-hour uh, market watch right now. We've got 177 new listings. We've had 172 solds and 170 17 pendings. So as you can see, there's about 300 homes that have sold in the last 24 hours. This is only 24 hours, folks. One day. With uh, so as you can see, we're selling more homes uh, than what's coming on the market, which is creating the uh, the frenzy down here and the 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 price increases the way it's going up. I want you to take a look at this graph. This is a market velocity graph that I had made up. You can take a look. See this line right here? This is what would be considered a seller's market and this is what would be considered a buyer's market. And as you can see, which way is the market going? It's going towards a seller's market. I would say for all intensive purposes other than the prices going through the roof, although there's been a 15% increase in Naples already just in the month of March and over a 40% price increase over the last 12 months on median prices throughout the real estate industry. So it truly is a buyer's market, I mean a seller's market in all intensive purposes except we haven't got the crazy, crazy uh, increase of prices like we've seen a couple years ago. But everything is set to do that. And I guarantee you, I promise you, and I have yet in 25 years to be off on my predictions that a $300,000 house uh, that you could buy right 
right now is going to be 375 next year and the year after it's going to be 425 450 and then with the administration change we're going to see uh, some some great things happening down here in southwest Florida they're simply not bringing or they're not making any more waterfront surf sand and sand properties like what we have down here and uh, and the right tires and the snowbirds are going to buy properties regardless of what the market is doing what we're seeing now is we're seeing that you know a lot of you know I had somebody the other day that told me well we're gonna you know we're gonna watch the market because uh, you know I, I know that uh, we've got close to the bottom of the market folks the bottom of the market in Southwest Florida was March of 2009 that's when we had about 24,000 listings on the market homes were taken almost um, uh, six months to sell they were selling at 70 percent market price and we were seeing about 65 percent of the market selling was all foreclosures and short sales now the foreclosures and short sales are only about an eight percent of the market the foreclosures and short sales usually don't sell for as good a prices as what the normal market prices homes are selling for or they're selling at full market price so there's no longer that many deals and short sales and foreclosures the deals are found in the motivated people who are already priced right now one thing that we're not going to do when we show you homes is we're not going to be showing you homes uh, of the homes that simply aren't going to sell that are way overpriced. There's a lot of junk on the market. When you work with us, we're going to work with you before you get here and show you only the best price homes. So you're going to see all those in the first two days you're here. So after that, you know, one of the things I see people doing is thinking, well, if we keep looking at homes, if we keep looking at homes, we're here for another three or four days, we're going to keep looking at homes, we're magically going to find that home that is a better buy. Simply said, the first homes that we show you on day one and two day two you're not going to find any better buys that's why as the week goes on and clients finally realize that what they saw on day one or day two were the best buys then they go back and they try to buy those homes they've already been purchased by somebody else uh, and then worse yet if they do get their offer in on one of them uh, they try to make an offer at 20 percent under value or something wanting to negotiate well keep in mind that the sellers don't know you're wanting to negotiate or that you're willing to go to full price and you really have have to be prepared to make an offer say at five percent under asking and you have to be willing to go to full market price to have a shot of getting anything in this particular market let's start with today's tour this is every home on Fort Myers Beach under 500,000 and there's about 22 of them I'm gonna go through half today and probably half tomorrow this first one is on tropical shores way and as you can see this one is 484 nine this is a canal front golf access weekly rental it's a 4-4 triplex with a boat dock and two 10,000 pound boat lifts it's clean inside and out it's great for large groups or individual units you're gonna make some money on this one the seasonal income I think last year uh, weekly it was about $2,800 a week uh, or annual rentals it generates about $35,000 annually uh, gross per year on the low side uh, that's uh, per the numbers that were given me by the seller this one has new roof on it it's got new appliances new carport new landscaping a lot of great things about this I always get questions from people about renting units down here. Folks, it's simple to rent units down here. You can have it as full as you want it, as often as you want it. The market is just simply, simply easy to rent, and you'll love it all. Every client that I have that rents their units calls them cash cows. They really have an easy time doing it. I've even had several clients that have bought in a second or a third home because the first home they had was so full of renters, they didn't have any time to use it themselves. I can hook you up with all that and show you how to do that. It's really, really easy. This next home is at 459000 It's on Sterling Avenue in Fort Myers Beach. It's a 3-3, 1,800 square foot. Had a recent roof, recent siding, pavers, brand new air conditioning system. It's a rare three-bedroom, three-bath loft den family room home. Does have a fireplace with an amazing boathouse and a lift, one car garage and a workshop. It's just been serviced. This one's ready to sell now at 459,000. Pretty darn nice buy down there on Fort Myers Beach. Let's take a look at this next one. This one's 449,000, uh, three bedroom, three bath. This is a newer construction home built in 2007. You'll love the attention to detail on this home. There was a ton of care taken when they went and built this home. You'll enjoy it so much from the private backyard deck to its mature trees and a fenced in yard. Give this home all kinds of great entertaining space. It's got a nice garage for all your toys, your boats, uh, and, and to store a, you know, 
personal items if you're going to use it for rental. This is a must-see in perfect condition at $449,000 off of Pearl Street in Fort Myers Beach. Now this one's at $448,000. Uh, it's about 1,500, ah, 1,600 square foot. It was built in 73. It's on Palmville Boulevard. It's a three-bedroom, two-bath, direct sailboat access home in Fairview Miles. It's located minutes from open water on one street off of Estero Bay. It's a great updated home. It features three bedrooms, two baths, and a two-car garage. It's beautifully remodeled kitchen, as you can see there. It's light, bright, and airy with granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, and a breakfast counter. Big new tile on the diagonal axis, brick paver dive, uh, driveway with metal roof and wraparound dock. Best of all, it's a short walking distance to the white sandy beaches of Fort Myers Beach. And this can be all yours at $448,000 simply on the water, walking distance to the beach. There you have it. Folks, there is no homes walking distance to the beach for under $250. I get those emails all the time and it simply is no longer available, nor is the homes under $100,000 pretty much anywhere in southwest Florida or at least anywhere that you'd be interested in buying. Now this home is located in a really nice quiet neighborhood for 440. It's an Avienda Carrente in Fort Myers Beach. It's a 3-3 built in 1982. It's a golf access canal home and it's over 2,800 square foot. A walk upstairs will lead you into two bedrooms and two baths with living and dining areas surrounded by windows that offer great canal views. This countertop area is very nice in the kitchen with a large island and a wet bar which offers wonderful space for entertaining guests and cooking. When you walk outside you'll enjoy the second story screen balcony which overlooks a quiet canal. A lot of great things about this home plus of course the private dock, 10,000 pound boat lift, just few of the things that top off this great opportunity of a home down in Fort Myers Beach in the 440 range. Now this one's 439,000. It's a 2,700 square foot home that's architecturally designed like none other on Fort Myers Beach. It's solid construction. It's an elevated family home off a nature view court. It's a large home, so it'd be great for a large family, executive estate. Be super for rentals, especially to the European seasonal uh, clientele. This is five bedroom, four baths. Built in 1980, it's uh, adjoining a 57-acre nature preserve with a fishing pier and a kayak launch. You'll love the vaulted beam ceilings in this home. It's close to Beach Elementary, the Public Library, and Bay Oaks Recreation Center, and the community pool. Restaurants and shopping are all nearby. Plus, there's space for you to put your own pool in at $439,000. So a lot of nice thing about this home. It's got all tile floors, high ceilings, makes it really nice usage to use and the downstairs area has a separate apartment so if you want a guest area a mother-in-law place a place to store the kids while you're down here that would be another great best buy for you to consider at four hundred and thirty nine thousand Okay, this one's at 432. This is a nice home and a real excellent location. It's a great family home. It's also a legal duplex. It's a nature view court down on the beach. A 3-3, 2,600 square foot area close to Bay Oaks, the restaurant, the beach, and everything anybody would ever want in a Fort Myers beach home. Huge garage, stone fireplace, family kitchen, lots of beautiful cabinetry and built-ins and the list goes on. It's got a ground floor unit as all also spacious, has a nice screened entry that's out by the water. It's a very, very nice property. Very easy for me to show you this one. The, it's a lot of home for a price of $432.9. Your heart will definitely skip a beat when you see this splendid Ponciana tree in the front yard in full bloom. A lot of tropical feeling of this home. A lot of uh, area that you can make it your own custom home and do a lot of things with that home. Now this one's 429,000. You can get an idea of where the beach is. This is Cottage by the Sea. It's a cozy home, three bedroom, two bath, 1,100 square foot, two bath beach cottage on the beach side of Estero Boulevard. This is on the beach side, not the bay side. This is one house back from the beach itself. It's less than a 30 second walk to the sand, 429,000. It's also less than one mile to the popular Times Square, which is downtown Fort Myers Beach. The home has got a big deck. It's perfect for grilling and grilling dinner and enjoying the island lifestyle. It has a remodeled kitchen. It's large. It's got a nice living area. It's spacious and comfy. Some of the 
renovations and improvements within the last two years include the air conditioning, the deck, the furniture, the bath, interior painting. There's also a washer and dryer in the home as you see there. Per the owner, the roof is approximately six years old and the vinyl siding is approximately five years old. So if you're looking for a place, you don't want to spend a million for beachfront. This is one house back, but it's still on the beach side of the road for 429000 this one's 425,000 off of Albatross down on Fort Myers Beach. Three bedroom, two bath, 1,600 square foot home. This is in very desirable Fairview Isles. It's a nice three bedroom canal home. It's a short walk to deeded beach access. It's 425,000. I may have to cut this short. I'm starting to get rained on. It's been a very, very hectic stormy day. We're getting into our storm season where every afternoon we get those monsoon uh, torrential downpours. Uh, but in the morning, we, you know, it's 85 in blue sky. So if I have to cut it off real quick, just know it's because I'm going to get rained on. 397,000 gets you this great opportunity on Albatross. This shows you how close you are. Deep water, canal, waterfront ranch home, three bedroom, two bath, 1,800 square foot, remote controlled 14,000 pound boat uh, lift. It's got composite decking, a separate 2,000 pound davit hose for that small bay boat or the jet skis and things like that. It's got non skid shark skin decking, dockside power, dockside water. It's simply five minutes to the Gulf sailboat access, seawall, concrete dock, you name it, this baby's got it all. It's got hat custom brick pavers, circular driveway, uh, custom brick paver walkways and a patio, uh, custom brick, uh, you know, flower planting block boxes. It's got reflective bronze glass tinted windows, three sets of uh, huge sliding glass doors, finished AC in the garage with a handyman work area for those of you who like to play on the toys or have your own man area. It's got a 6,000 watt North Star generator and infrared four camera security system with two separate storage sets. So it's got the best of both worlds. You got it all here under the 400,000 figure at the 397. Now this one's 389. 1600 square foot home on Palmdale Boulevard, three bedroom, two bath. This is a quiet golf access community on Fort Myers Beach. It's a 3 2 canal home, has lush landscaped yard with irrigation system, brick paver driveway, and front and rear patio. It's got a new roof that was just put on this home in January, a spacious master bedroom with slider out to the backyard, and a renovated, a newly renovated master bath. It's a split floor plan, it's only two canals away from. From the bay so it's very very quick easy access out to the Gulf of Mexico and at that bargain basement price of 389 folks you you know it's pretty much now anything on the water is gonna start at 350 pretty much enjoy the best of both worlds on this one nature view court Fort Myers Beach this is a six bedroom three bath 3400 square foot home that's a short walk to the white sand beaches at Fort Myers Beach and it's still in a nice tranquil setting right off the beaten path this is a pretty rare find for a house of this size for 389,000 3400 square feet it had extra metal roof and siding with extra insulation put in in 2005 it's got that nice cedar walls to give you that cabin feel three skylights for lots of light bright and airy master bedroom furniture stays on this one it also has two screen balconies with views of the lush landscaping around it has an apartment which is going to be sold turnkey with a screen part porch and their own washer and dryer there's two fish ponds nine oak trees coconut palms orchids too much stuff to live list and it backs up to the mantassas preserve on two sides this is really a nature lovers paradise on this home for the really really entry level price at 389,000 now this one here, 384,000, 1,500 square foot home, three bedroom, two bath on St. Peter's Drive. This home here is renovated and it's being sold totally furnished, turnkey. You get what you see. This home is located in one of the nicest streets on Fort Myers Beach. It's just a short walk to your own deeded beach access. Inside you'll find new 18-inch uh, tile, um, new paint inside and out, granite countertops in the bathrooms, and the master shower were just retiled. There's also a good Good screen sized lanai with a hammock to relax in. You'll simply love it here. It's a two car garage. It's got plenty of room for storage and a hobby shop. This home was just re landscaped with new sod. This home is turnkey and it's easy to show. And now it's a Best Buy property at $384,000. 
Well, there wraps up the first two or the first 13 homes out of 24 of every single home on Fort Myers Beach under 500,000. So stay tuned tomorrow. I'm going to bring you more of them. I'm going to hopefully get out some of these other information videos because simply I'm seeing too many folks that are coming down here with unrealistic expectations and then they wait far too long to make offers. And then when they do make offers, they're making them at a much low price and they're not getting the homes that they you know want to do and I don't want you to lose those opportunities. This is Alan Smith wishing you a warm sunny southwest Florida day. If you have any questions or there's anything I can do for you, uh, fish is jumping right behind me, give me a call 239-872-7736. You have a wonderful day. Bye-bye now.